Shalom unto the nation of Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, <clears throat> I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Chodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders. A great millstone that teach and that rule well today. <clears throat> And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide in all truth and sincerity. Shalom. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to get into a, a quick lesson touching on this article, which I have off the um, CDN.com. Okay. Uh, which is the Daily Hold. Okay, going into this, you know, this this article, which you can see the title, which was published <clears throat> November the third of twenty twenty three, and the title title it gives is J P Morgan Chase Bank of America, Wells Fargo suffer major outage as customers uh, scramble to locate deposits, <clears throat> and here at Great Millstone, okay, we always going into the coming economy um, crash, financial crash, when it comes to America, okay? And we know that when it comes to these elites that's ruling, the central bankers, okay, that, you know, put in place the Federal Reserve notes, okay, which is nothing but debt, okay, it's about to come to a time of the transition from physical money, okay, to digital currency okay you hear the talks about these cbdc's okay central bank digital currencies okay which all ties into the prophecy of revelation chapter 13 uh, verse 16 okay being the rfid micro uh chip okay which is the mark of the beast man and that's going to be the next way of buying and selling according to that scripture okay when it comes to that prophecy which we are in those times. <clears throat> and we know that these elites are having a, a, a have an agenda when it comes to the orchestrating a financial crash. Okay, now you hear the talks more and more of banks uh, defaulting, okay, banks collapsing, okay, individuals that have their money in the banks doing a bank run, trying to snatch all their money, okay, while it's available, okay, in, in these bank in their bank account. Which a lot of these banks don't even have only, a, you know, which they only have a limited money, okay, they, which they can deposit, okay? And, you know, about a, what, a couple of months ago, you had the Silicon Valley Bank that um, collapsed, okay? Which, you know, like I say, the money that's into those banks, all of it is basically nothing but credit, okay, um, debt, okay, debit. Okay, <clears throat> and once these banks collapse, eh, the people who had a trust, okay, into these banks when it comes to their economy or uh, their accounts, uh, this economy, and eh, when it when it collapsed, hey, eh, that money is going to be gone. Okay, and we just witnessing that over the past weekend, as this article stated, J.P. Morgan, Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo suffer major outage as customers scramble to locate deposit. And all this not but really um, pushing forward, once again, a new system in the form of digital currency, which once again is gonna tie into the RFID micro, a global reset, okay? And I'm gonna get into the article, and it says several of America's biggest banks are facing a flood of complaints about issues with the account balances and direct deposit. Customer, customers at J.P. Morgan, Chase, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, and Wells Fargo, and trustees, trustees said money that should have arrived in their accounts is not showing up. And they plan on the people emotions, man. Okay, to see the, the prop, you know, the cause, the problem, the reaction, and the solutions. Okay, so they're the one who's setting up all these problems when it comes to these banks defaulting 
of people not getting their money, okay? And now they're starting to see the reaction of people. People panic, okay, going on these bank runs, okay, leading to ultimately a solution, a new way, a easier, a easier way, okay? And once again, going into the prophecy of Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, the MOTB being a solution. And that's what's about to take place, man, a new digital currency. And it says, the network monitoring app down dictator is reporting on widespread issues at all five banks. And it says, Wells Fargo and Bank of America have released Pacific statements on the issue via Twitter telling customers that telling customers they are working on the issue. And you can see the tweets there. Okay. And it says, although the banks are release, releasing individual statements on the issue, the Federal Reserve says a processing issue at a national network for processing automatically or automatic clearing house ACH trans, transactions is to blame. Okay. And it says the ACH system is run by Federal Reserve Banks and the Electronic Payment Network and is a core component of the U.S. banking system. So all of it is a, a, basically a setup, man, okay, which this country, okay, when it comes to the Federal Reserve note, the dollar, which they've been removed, the standard of the dollar, when it comes to the standard of it being backed up by gold and silver. So which now is nothing but debt. And we already know, if you, you know, understand financially that that America, and here in America, the debt goes into what, about 33 trillion, okay? And it's more than that, but that's what he's saying, 33 tr trillion that America have to owe to who? The bankers, okay? Which are these elites, man? Okay, that's in rulership. Okay, the chief seat of Esau Edom. <clears throat> and it says, it powers the flow of capital between banks and financial, uh, in financial institutions and allows employees to electronically deposit wages into employees' bank accounts. Although the Fed believes the issue has been resolved, Delays appear to be ongoing, according to a finance lot. A popular financial account on the social media platform X, banks are now working to clear a back backlog, log backlog of transitions, or transactions. Okay, and it says seeing the bank issues were a uh, technically technical glitch with the Federal Reserve System. Apparently, it reserves must will take time to work through the backlog. backlog. At least, that's the story right now. And you're going to tell me about all this advanced technology, science that they boasting in, okay, that now these banks having an issue, having glitches when it comes to the digital system. Okay, now it's a, um, a test run. Okay, to see the people once again, the, the, the cause, the problem, the reaction, and the solutions. So that's it on the article. Okay. Once again, off the Daily Hall, JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, suffer major outage as customers scramble to locate deposit. And that's what they exactly want. Okay, to cause uh, chaos. And out of that chaos, to bring order which is what these elites are uh, implementing uh, the NWO. And that's going to be started, okay, by the way, uh, a new system they're going to put in place th through the CBDC, which link, link to the biblical prophecy of Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, being the RFID micro. And here at Great Millstone, we always go into that. Okay, but now we're approaching the time of America financial crash. Okay, you're starting to witness uh, uh, inflation. Okay, soon to be hyperinflation as prices going up, 
And right now, things are still reasonable, okay? But at the same time, you're starting to see people on uh, job losses, homeless, okay, poverty, okay, due to uh, high paid rent, okay, food prices going up, okay? And at the meantime, you got this American system when it comes to the government sending billions of dollars of aid to the small hats over there in Israel, to Ukraine, okay, to the, towards the military to get ready for war, which is also biblical prophecy of the coming of the Third World War. And in the midst of that, you're going to have a financial crash here in America that's going to lead to civil unrest, as we're always going to race wars, the time of uh, uh, clash wars, martial law, detention centers, strict legislations, and all of it is going to be spearheaded by a new system that these elites want to put in place, okay, when it comes to the NWO, okay, when it comes to the next currency going digitally. And at the same time, you got all these other countries that normally do trades with America is not dealing with the dollar anymore, okay? They're dropping the dollar now, such as the BRIC nations, okay, being headed by Russia and China, okay? And we look into the acronym of BRICS, B-R-I-C-S, okay? is It break down to Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, okay? And you got other countries as well that's starting to ditch the dollar and join forces or allies with the BRIC nations, okay? And so it's all coming to the point that, you know, America is about to witness a financial crash, man. And worldwide, okay, it's going to be a, a new system being in place by a digital currency. Because you got Russia and China pushing the same thing, okay? But at the, all, as, as all, these elites are in rulership, man. Okay, but the main thing now, you got these other countries saying that they're going to be the next superpower as they see the decline of America. And it starts with mainly the dollar. Okay, the dollar, the morals of the people, the infrastructure deteriorating. And so this place is at the point of its destruction as it's prophesied. Because ultimately, this place, America, is going to be destroyed by the way, a thermonuclear fire at the peak of the Third World War. And at the time of who the world called Christ, Yahweh Shai. Okay, who the world called Christ, Yahweh Shai. Second coming, by the way, of the host of the angels. Okay, which are the chariots, what the world would call UFOs. So it's going to be a so-called alien invasion. Okay, what, what the world will look at it as. Okay, but we know it's the time of Yahweh Shai. That's going to be the time of Yahweh Shai's second coming. Okay, and by the angels and the chairs bringing destruction and at the same time only delivering the elect from out of that destruction. Okay, when it comes to the nation of Israel, which the elect considered the 144,000 and the one third as it written in Revelation chapter 7. Okay, those are the only ones that's going to be delivered. And that's the number that we pray that we're part of. Okay, as we're in this calling. Okay, us that's in the faith. Because two-thirds of Negro, Latino, and Native American descent of Israel is going to be destroyed by those missiles. Especially those that take that RFID micro, okay? Revelation 14 and 9 go into that. Because <clears throat> those that take that MOTB is going to be destroyed by those missiles, man. And that's why we always give that stern warning. But let me get into Zephaniah chapter 1, verse, um, I'll start at verse 10. And it shall come to pass in that day, say the Lord, that there shall be a noise of a cry from the fish gate and a howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills. And it's going into the modern day time here in America and this whole world, you know, global uh, financial system, but mainly here in America because America is on top. OK, and what make America uh, rich, OK, is their dollar. OK which have a stronghold on the nations that took part into accepting the dollar. But we already know how America was built 
of the bloodshed of the Negro, Latino, Native Americans and the slave labor that will make America rich and all these other nations that had, had, had part taken into it. Okay, so that's one of the many reasons why the Lord going to destroy this place. And it says, How ye inhabitants of Mastash, for all the merchant people are cut down, and all they that bear silver are cut off. And America would be known as the modern-day Mastash. Okay, because Mastash was an ancient city that was known for its wealth. Okay, so America, Mastash will be known as the stock market today which is, you know, uh, um, at the point of about the crash due to the debt and due to these other nations leading off from the dollar. And America always been known for an import country that these other nations send their, their goods over here and so they can make their money off of and how America make its money. <clears throat> like, but now these countries are starting to do away with the trades, man. And at the same time, you got America putting sanctions on these other countries, including their own allies. And so it's really going to backfire. But that's what these elites want. Because they're at the point of, they're done with America. Okay? And they're ready to set up the NWO, starting here in America and worldwide. And that's why you're seeing the economy is at the point of a crash. Uh, so that's it on that. Let me get this. Um... Uh, Habakkuk <clears throat> chapter 2, verse 6. And it says, Shall not all these take up a proverb, a parable, excuse me, Salaki, shall not all these take up a parable against him, a taunting proverb against him, saying, and say, Woe to him that increases that which is not his. And the word woe means destruction. And it's going into the biblical Edomites, starting with these elites. On down to the lesser luminary ones, especially those over here in America. Because once again, how was America established? Off the slave labor, okay, <clears throat> the enslavement and bloodshed of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Then they have 400 years uh, of free labor. And still to this day, who make America run when it comes to financially wise? Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Because all these other nations, these heathen nations, they came over here to, you know, basically live it up. Okay? They don't have to work hard as the, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. When it comes to these heathen nations and Esau, Edom, they gain. Yeah, but America was established off of theft, robbery, bloodshed, murder, lies. Okay? <clears throat> And it says, woe to him that increased that which is not his. And who benefit the most? These elites of Esau, Edom. And it says, how long? And to him that laid of himself with thick clay. Okay, and I'm going to go into that word thick clay there. In a blue letter. And let's see what it says. Just give me a minute. Go to that word thick clay. Let's play it. Strong's H fifty six seventy one Avtit Avtit. Okay, you know, the, the, the true meaning of the, the Hebrew word is abatim. Okay, and let's go to the, the definition. Abatim, something pledged, pawn goods, thick clay. It says weight of pledge, heavy depths. Heavy depths. Okay, so that's going into what? America, which this place is facing, what, $33 trillion in debt. Okay, which... They owe to the bankers. Okay? And that's why you're seeing this money inflating. Okay? Which is going to lead to a, a a financial crash. And that's what these elites want. Because they're ready to do a, you know, reset. to bring in a new system. 
okay? We, uh, the way, by the way, a digital currency, which is going to lead to, once again, the prophecy of Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, the MOTV, the MOTB <clears throat> being the RFID micro. And that's going to be the next way of buying and selling. And that's why now you're starting to see people talking about cashless society, self-checkout lines, smart cities, okay, facial recognition, biometric, okay, as they're ready to push forth the NWO. And as now they're making it seem like it's it's cool, okay, they, they have a, the, the MOTB. You hear more talks about the the implants in, in people's brains, okay, Ma mainly by the way of uh, Elon Musk, okay, that can, you know, if they take that procedure, people who, you know, got certain illness or that haven't, you know, that, that's not able to walk, that's paralyzed due to the neural links, okay, they can, you know, be able to, you know, walk again. But the main thing is going to be the, by the way of buying and selling of people that receive it in their hands, okay, directly the right hand, as Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 stated. And that's going to be the next way of buying and selling. Okay. <clears throat> you got other camps, okay, which is outside of Great Millstone. Don't go into the RFID micro being the MOTB. Okay, you got camps saying that it's something spiritual or it's just sin. It's not going to be a physical device. Which they're going off. And we in the time that they're ready to implement the MOTB. Because as Pastor Tahar said, he had Great Millstone. Before this Third World War can reach its um the uh you know its max or its climax, that RFID micro got to be implemented first. Cause those that take it is gonna be destroyed by those missiles. But now we're witnessing the fall of Esau Edom. Okay, starting with their money and the transition that they want to bring. This is James chapter 5, verse 1. <clears throat> and it says, Go to now, you rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupt and your garments are moth-eaten. And it's going into this, this system, okay, the dollar, okay, which is nothing but debt, which is nothing but what they say, uh, fiat, okay, which means uh, the let it be, okay, which is nothing but debt, man. And it says, your riches are corrupt, your garments are moth-eaten, your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. And how it has become a witness, okay, against, you know, America, okay, starting with mainly these elites that have America in debt, okay, when it comes to that, they, they, they debt system, okay, they money, $33 trillion and counting. And like I said, it's higher than that, man. That's what they say. Okay, when it comes to the depth clock, just look at the depth clock. And it says, And the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasures together for the last days. And that's these elites, man. They're going to gain all the riches in the world. <clears throat> By the way, are they financial system, they military, which is the blessing of Esau Edom when it comes to it, the sword, they technology. Okay, the they, they, they unrighteous decrees, the economic hitmen, how they send their, their, their troops throughout different countries and raid them of their riches or put them in debt behind this American dollar. Okay. It's, you know, taking out certain leaders of these other countries and breaking in puppet leaders when it comes to their regimes. And so Esau have all the riches of the world, man. Okay, but those riches are going to be known to us once Yahweh Shai return and take these elites out of power. Okay, once those missiles destroy this place, America, because these elites are going to escape those missiles in their retreats as they're going to be in their bunkers, their space stations, their underwater stations. Okay, when it comes to their cities. Okay, Revelation 9 going into that. Okay, as they're going to be in their bunkers. While those missiles are going to be destroying America. Okay. And after that, once Yahweh Shai redeemed the elect, our kingdom is going to be set up here on the earth in the land of Israel, which, by the way, that land is going to be destroyed because the people are, the people that's over there, the small hats, are not the original inheritors. Okay. We are when it comes to the Negro, Latinos, Native Americans. 
And once Yahweh Shai established his kingdom, okay, by the also by the way of the elect being joint heirs, these heathen nations start with the elites, they're going to go into captivity. Okay. Revelation 13 and 9. Okay, starting with these elites. They're going to be rounded up, shackled up, and being put to hard labor. And they're going to build our kingdom. And everything that these heathens have, when it comes to the riches of the earth, we're going to take in our possession. Okay, start with the Edomites. Okay. And it says, Behold, verse 4, Behold, the higher of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept by fraud. Okay, yeah, because this system, how America's financial system is set up, is by the way of fraud. Okay, a debt system. And that's why now you're starting to see they moving on to the next phase when it comes to these bank uh, collapse. And cash is doing away, being done away. Okay, cash being obsolete. And it says, which is kept back by fraud and cry, and the cries of them which have reaped or enter into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath Oath. Okay, the word Sabbath Oath mean the Lord of uh, Sabbath Oath mean armies. Okay, going into Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, and who's crying out to Yahweh Bashim Shai? Okay, only the elect is going to be heard. And the Lord is going to bring deliverance. But you're starting to see the worldwide. Okay, these people are mourning. Okay, even down to the, the average Negro Latino Native American. Okay, to a certain extent. Okay, who's struggling. And even to these other heathen nations, that's complaining. But the Lord only concern is about the elect. So that's it on that. Matter of fact, let me get this. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So this proves right here that the righteous are not in authority. Okay? And Esau Edom is known as the wicked, according to Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Okay? And you see through his rulership, the people, the nations are mourning to the point they're ready to go to war against Esau Edom, especially this place, America. Okay, America has been been always been known to bully these other countries and putting them in debt and deceiving them. Okay, we should know that at first hand when it comes to the the Negro Latino Native Americans. So you know the Esau Edom, the wicked bear rule, and the people more. And that's why you seeing the earth is on the brink of destruction. Okay, Kim trails in the air. Okay, uh, toxin in the water, the soil, the earth. Okay, the 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 um destruction of the ecosystem. GMO food. Illness at an all time uh, high. War, violence. Cause that's due to Esau Edom ruling. <clears throat> Especially those that took on to the custom, of uh, believing in the dollar. And right now, a majority of our people think that this place ain't going to crash, man. Okay? Because things are still reasonable. They're still able to go to work. They're still able to pay their bills. Even though prices are going up, rent, you know, when it comes to necessary things, when it comes to, you know, like I say, your, your bills, insurance, you know, it's going up. But soon it's going to come to the point of hyperinflation. And, you know, it's eventually going to be a, a crash as they're ready to push their new uh, put in a new system. Let me get this. Second Edges chapter 16. Verse on. Um, Second Edges chapter 16 verse 21. And it says, Behold, virtues shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case and virtues going into the goods. Okay, people, like I say, stores are still, you know, open, okay, to a certain point, okay? People are still able to buy houses, cars, okay? Material things, still able to pay their bills, still able to go to work, okay? When it, and, and But now you're starting to see a lot of retail stores shutting down, okay? People, you know, a lot of jobs, okay, closing, Okay, food shortages. Okay, people going on strikes. Okay, gas prices are kind of still reasonable. Okay, 
So now it's to the point that people think they ain't a good case, as the scripture says. That they should think themselves to be in a good case. Even then shall evil grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And that's what we're starting to see in the midst of uh, uh, prophecy. Okay? Like I said, even though things are still reasonable. Okay, but wait till the Lord bring the destruction to this place. When it comes to the time of Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Okay, which is going to lead to the implementation of the MOTB, the time of martial law, civil unrest, famine. Okay, basically all hell breaking loose, anarchy. Okay. So now we're in the stages now that the Lord bringing the plagues to this place. So in that time, man, our people that trust in this system when it comes to financially, and when all hell break loose and they don't have the covering of Yahweh Bashim Shai, they're going to be destroyed. A lot of our people going to line up and take that MOTB or go out there to, you know, just trying to, just trying to survive. Okay? Taking matters in their own hand, which is going to lead to a lot of civil unrest. Now I get the scripture and I end off. <clears throat> and so our people that trusting in the system, financial gain, it ain't going to prosper you in that, that time when all hell break loose. Only thing that's going to keep you stable is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Let me get that real quick. And that's what we're praying that we part of. Okay, of the elect that the Lord have us covered in those times. Okay, because the Lord said his servant's going to eat, his servant's going to drink and be taken care of in the time of adversity, in the time of Jacob's trouble. Isaiah chapter 33 Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And it says, And wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai is his treasure. So this is the true riches. Okay, knowing Yahweh Bashim Shai, Okay, and being covered. Okay, and to be stable in the times that we're about to approach. And a lot of these Israelite camps outside of Great Millstone is not preparing the congregation for that. Okay, a lot of these Israelite camps, they mind frame is the, the dole and, and, and riches when it comes to the monetary gain or the, you know, physical sustenance when it comes to the dollar. Okay, prosperity. In, even into the, these Christianity churches. Okay, and as generally, our people looking for this place to prosper. Let me get this. But you're seeing now that these banks collapsing. And majority of our people, they not in the know. They not in the inf not into information. Okay, it's something that can really affect their day to day life. Okay, because a lot of our people, they just they just lost. They're gone. As the scripture says, uh, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Hosea chapter four verse six. Okay, majority of our people, they'll talk about how they looking for money, how they got investments. Okay, how they looking to you know be successful, but they're not paying attention to the markets. And how this place is on the verge of a crash, and what they really, and what these elites want to bring forth when it comes to a, when it comes to a new digital currency, which is their RFID micro, which is prophecy. And once again, the ones of our people that's going to be blinded, and and and, and going to go and take that MOTB, they're going to be destroyed by the missiles. But let me get Proverbs eleven, <clears throat> verse four, and it says, "Riches profit not in the day of wrath." But righteousness delivered from death. So only the elect is going to be delivered. Those that wake up, repent, and come back and serve Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? And acknowledging this truth to be covered. Because rich is not going to profit in the day of wrath. That majority of our people put their mind frame and hope in when it comes to this financial system. So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that the lesson be edifying. Until the next time, Lord willing. Shalom to the 144,000 and a one-third, which is known as the elect, the hopeful elect, Shalom.